Introduction to ratios. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities expressed as a quotient. So when we think of quotient, we should think of fractions. And um, we're going to be using fractions to help simplify our ratios. An example, a ratio of uh, 18 to 6. We want to write this in simplest form. First, we note that 18 to 6 uh, can be written as a fraction. Once we write it as a fraction, uh, we see if we can simplify it, and we see that uh, 6 goes into both 18 and 6. Uh, 6 goes into 18 three times, into 6 at once. Now, normally, as a fraction, we write this uh, expression 3 over 1 as simply 3. But if it's a ratio, we want to keep it as a fraction, as a quotient. And so we're going to write this answer as 3 to 1. Our final ratio answer is 3 to 1. Express this ratio in uh, simplest form, uh, 24 inches to 16 inches. So we begin by writing it in a fraction form, 24 inches on top, 16 inches in the bottom. Um, and then we see that the numbers 24 and 16 have uh, 8 in common. And we simplify that to 3 inches to 2 inches. When purchasing an uh, SUV, Jackson puts down 8,000 and finance 32,000. What's the ratio of the amount put down uh, and the purchase price of the SUV? So the amount put down was 8,000 and 32,000 was financed. So I think we would first need to figure out how much the actual purchase price was. And so the purchase price is simply the sum of 8,000 and 32,000. So that's 40,000. Now the ratio is asking us to put the ratio uh, of the amount put down, that's 8,000, uh, to the purchase price, which is 40,000 we just found. And so we write that as a fraction, and that's 8,000 divided by 40,000, and that can simplify uh, as 1 to 5. So a rate is a ratio of unlike quantities, quantities with different units. So we have, uh, for example, part A here, 40, uh, 420 miles to 25 gallons of gas. So let's write that as a ratio. And a ratio is basically, or a rate is basically a ratio with different units. So uh, the 420 miles goes in the numerator, 25 gallons in the denominator. And again, we want to simplify 420 divided by 25, and that becomes 84 over 5. And we would write miles per gallon, or 84 miles to 5 gallons. We have uh, 38 hours and 6 days. So we write that as a fraction again, and keeping the units, uh, 38 hours divided by 6 days, and if we can simplify the numerical parts of it, 38 over 6, we should. In this case, uh, 2 goes into 38 19 times, and into 6 3 times, so we have 3 hours in, or I'm sorry, 19 hours in 3 days. Uh, to simplify a ratio or rate, uh, we want to write the ratio or the rate as a fraction, express the fraction in simplest form. And then uh, the usual rules are if the quantities are the same, we drop the units and we just take a look at the numbers, like in dollars per dollars. If the quantities are different, then we keep the units so that we can take a look at uh, the units, how the units change as in miles per gallon. A unit rate is a rate in which the number in the denominator is equal to 1. So sometimes we might be interested in finding unit rates. And so we reduce everything, even if the numerator will have might have to become a uh, decimal. So let's write uh, these as unit rates to um, 520 miles in eight hours. So imagine you drove 520 miles in eight hours. What was your average speed? We can take a look at. Uh, so let's see if uh, eight goes into 520. It does, and we get 65 miles uh, in one hour. And once we have a unit rate, we can write 65 miles per hour. 
Uh, the next example, 17-10 minutes of cell phone use in 30 days. <clears throat> so let's see if we can reduce this um, to figure out how many minutes per day. Uh, we'll divide 30 into 17-10 and we get 57 minutes per day. A unit price is a price of one item or one unit. So uh, some examples, if we want to take a look at uh, the unit price, if we're paying $310 for five weeks of day camp, how much is it per week? <clears throat> so we divide uh, the dollar amount on top and then the number of weeks in this case in the bottom. Uh, we see that uh, 5 goes into 310 62 times, so it looks like this is going to be $62 per week. Uh, 8 credit cards for $384. Again, we want to write the um, dollar amount in the numerator and then the number of whatever we're looking at in the bottom. So does 8 go into 384? It does 48 times, so it's $48 per credit card. Uh, C, a 10 ounce container of oatmeal for $1.29. So in this case, uh, if we write this as a ratio, we got the dollar amount on top, 10 ounces at the bottom. So it looks like we're going to find the unit price per ounce. So we're going to divide 10 into uh, 29 or $1.29. And in that case, uh, you move the decimal, place one unit over to the left, and you get 0.129. So that's about. 12 or 13 cents per ounce. In this example, we're looking at uh, which bottle of shampoo is the best buy. We have a 20 ounce shampoo for $2.97, a 16 ounce for $2.59. So, what we are interested in is finding the unit price. So the unit price is going to be the total price, the dollar amount, divided by the number of units, uh, in this case 20 or, tw or 16 ounces. So for the first one, we got uh, $2.97 for 20 ounces. We divide uh, 20 into $2.97, and we get a unit price of uh, 0.1485. So that's about 15 cents per ounce. Uh, for the second shampoo, we have uh, the unit uh, price. It's a dollar. It's two dollars fifty-nine cents for sixteen ounces. We do that division, sixteen into two dollars and ninety-five fifty-nine cents, and we get uh, point one six one eight seven five. So that's about sixteen per ounce, sixteen cents per ounce. So it looks like uh, the twenty ounce is a better buy.